It's the coldest day of the year, guys, right now. Almost minus 40. Listen to the chill. You can hear it. This has to do with the element of air. And Ain Sulfur, working with the light, loving with the light, healing with the light, expansion. Let's go get some messages, guys. Hey, guys, welcome. Now, we uh, received some new cards. We're just going to get a quick message before uh, New Year's here. This message is going to be connected to our, a Three of Cups message that we're going to be receiving very soon. And the Ain Sofior, okay, there, there's a connection here. We're going to find out what it is today. And thank you everyone who joined in. Let's get some tarot, guys. Now, we know that Ain Sulfur is our connection directly to the purest light and birth from the void and it knows it knows the route to healing it's 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 not about continuing on with misery it's about creating a new with the light that's that's the message and this is how we're going to continue building what we're building in the times we're in you know that 2022 is going to be a new. We're, we're going to officially said goodbye to the old. Okay, guys, I had to shuffle these cards for a minute because they're new. I had to put some energy in for my favorite person in the world. Okay, we have the Three of Swords. So, Ace of Wands, this has to do with the fact that we have been healing with force, healing with the masculine. We know that... Ain Sofior was working with the masculine, the energy, the expansion with the light. And this is achieving healing with the light. And there's a connection to mushrooms. And the sacredness of mushrooms. And the intelligence of the mushroom. Now, the Six of Cups with the Knight of Wands and the Five of Cups. We're longing from something from our past, guys. We're moving forward because we understand we have to heal, but we're longing from something from our past still. That's why Ain Sulfur is here to help us with this. And it's connected to the element of error and pain. Pain that has been caused with the element of error. But we are going to heal. The Six of Wands is here and I can feel the healing. But this is healing through the winter, healing through the cold. It's connected to the winter. It's connected to the lack of. It's connected to feeling like this branch here within the cold bear but we're gonna we're gonna have a power shift through the earth guys and we're gonna clear we're gonna clear up we're gonna clear this up like look the this is this is through this bird like there's much symbolism here to see the swords the air has pierced this bird 
This was a piercing, you know, pain. And it has to be healed a certain way. It has to be healed with Ain Sofure. So, you know what, guys? Judgment and the Four of Wands is here. And the manifestations of our healing with force. But this, this has to do with healing with the masculine. This has to do with healing with the light. We have to heal with the energy, guys. There's still a little bit more work we're doing here. Let's find out what it's connected to. It's like... There's the Five of Wands charge. It's just like... You know, you keep you feel like you're just no matter what you do, you're just still butting heads. You're still there's still friction. Something's still not coming together. Something's still not in alignment. It's this connection to the three of cups, and I'm so excited to have this reading. We're gonna have right after New Year's, and it's gonna tie this all in. But it has to do with the enlightenment and the hanged man, and the hanged man is a spider in this deck, and this means something. This has to do with creation. And manifesting with creation. But we're being challenged with an emotional situation. This has to do with an emotional situation. And will we have the extra have the strength to expand through the earth? And I have a feeling we're gonna be shown something that's of life. A connection to life, not necessarily human, in order for this to happen. Let's see what is that being activated here. these cards are beautiful first of all look at this and look at this like they're textured and my favorite part of these cards is they're multicultural they're already multi-dimensional they're pulling together everybody i love it the animals are in here the plants are in here you know all different cultures And they're spiritual. There's nothing like these cards already, guys. I can feel it. All right. What's being activated here? We're healing with the seven of swords we're healing with with what the air has done to us i really want to say but remember it's not the air itself that's why we're doing purification work with the air two of wands there it is we expand with the masculine the queen of coins the queen of the earth Look, guys, we feel from the battling here. We feel from the battle. And there's the power shift through the earth. The hummingbird is here. This has to do with the seven of swords and clear and clearing up this hack healing this hack healing the evils of this world and then we expand with love the page of cups is here and the knight of cups Guys, it's the four of coins. There's a connection here to the activation. Condor's wife, Peru. This is a folktale from Peru. The four of coins represents greed and unwillingness to open up or share. Condor 
convets his wife who does not like his lifestyle or living with him. He recognizes her unhappiness but is willing to make changes or set her free. We're healing from greed here. That's the message. We're healing from greed, guys. This means something. And we're going to go back to Chris. <coughs> okay, guys. So the crystal broke. This means something. This all means something. It's all tied into this message. So we're going to go back to Christmas for a minute. We're going to backtrack. And we're going to see what this is connected to. and love the lovers partnerships and completion with our intuition with the high priestess and we're going to spin the wheel with luck and justice decisions okay so we're going to make a decision and it's connected to holding on we need to let go You need to let go because it's already happened. I really feel like we need to see why we're still holding on. charge that with the broken crystal and we're going to share the message of the lovers because I'm feeling called to share it of partnerships the lovers usually indicates a relationship between two individuals possibly romantic but could be otherwise however it's just as likely that the relationship could be directed inward to the duality of the self there could be a difference of opinion or you may be having difficulty understanding the other part of an equation. The other person or your alter ego. Follow your own heart is the mantra of the day. Just make sure that you are considering all the facts. Because your, your relationship could go wrong if you are not careful. Look to an encounter with another that touches you deeply. Mistletoe, the perfect Christmas tradition for lovers, whether emotional or internal, is that of mistletoe. Early on, the Druids began its use in the forests during times of conflict. If one came upon the ball of mistletoe in the woods, all wearing arms were put down and a truce was called until the following day. It was the 18th century when the kissing practice became a fashion and continues to this day. Well, guys, look at that. We just learned something about mistletoe. All right. Oh, 
Okay. Hmm. These two cards are still tough to get stuck together, but I'm gonna read them. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring and release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Alright guys, you see it in the, another reshuffle. Because they're new. So let's see what this is connected to. It has to do with completion. It has to do with healing from love in our past. And even with our family bloodline, like we've seen something here. We understand something here. It's like, you know, when you grow up and you realize that you actually have to parent yourself and that you act how to understand your own energy and how to understand how to work with higher self. And allow how yourself to be there with you and for you and, and your parent and parent you and love you and nurture you. And we're healing something from the past. Some some sort of situation that is connected to this three of swords. This piercing pain that we need to heal. And I feel like for many of us it's even just what happened in our own family homes. But we're moving forth with partnerships. But once again too, this is a surprise. This is... This, these partnerships are being pulled into our magnetic field with our aura. We just have to let go of something here. And as you heard in, in when we shared this message, there was a lot of key pieces of information. I just want to expand off that. What is this connected to? Okay. You deserve love. You are lovable. Well, we have to be in the energy of the gifts that we are receiving, the partnerships, okay? So we need to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So we have to follow certain patterning in order to achieve this. And of course, it's stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is be in the, being in the energy of what we're manifesting, what we're creating. And it's connected to soulmate. Yet, yes, this is your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate, guys. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And it's new love. A person has stirred your romantic feelings. So something is coming together here and for those of us that this is not romantic it's still going to make us feel high vibe it's still going to put us into a line like this is in alignment with us it's going to feed our soul it's going to help our soul expand but for many of us us this is romantic all right guys notes from the universe now I, I have been looking for these cards for two years. I saw them 2019, right before, uh, in March, right before all the madness hit in the world without. And I remember going downtown for my birthday and I was like, what the heck? No one's downtown. I feel like I'm on like some sort of horror movie. And then lo and behold, found out the next day that the world was... Cleansing itself, and that's really what's happened. You know, Ralph Smart said it best. This is humanity's collective shadow being illuminated, and so we can purge what, what's not coming with us back in the Taurus in order to sustain life with. You know, we're healing with life. We're expanding with the universe. So... What is our message? Notes from the universe on love and connection. So, love doesn't have to mean near. Some are better loved at a distance for a while anyways, and that's okay. Besides, love doesn't really know the difference. Tally-ho, the universe. 
ain't that the truth. And things are not as they appear. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Brain freeze the universe. I go where you go. Tell me, are you finding that the occasional stranger has a crush on you? That for words you've almost mindlessly chosen, hearts broken to long begin to heal. That eyes sometimes well up with tears when it's time to say goodbye. Remarkable, our findings exactly. Piss. Piss. Your divinity is showing the universe and this has to go this has to do with having a love for a season or a reason guys and i really feel like many of us have experienced that and that's like part of the what we have to heal from in the past is that we've experienced having a love for a season or a reason but this has to do with calling in you know our soulmate or it could be like divine counterpart someone that's in alignment with us or brand new love, like a brand new experience. And that's what I really feel like this is. This is a brand new experience. Okay, guys? Love, light, and healing energy is sent your way to create today, guys. I look forward to seeing you again when we expand. Have fun, be safe, and take care.